I want to show you a hidden profile with which you can improve the colors of your next autumn images. So if you want to follow along this tutorial, make sure to download the raw file. You can find the link to it in the description of this video. And now let's begin. So this is our raw file and right away you can see we do have some autumn color tones, but we can improve that and make the colors pop a lot more. So let me show you how to do that. Open up the basic panel. And as I said in the intro, we are working with a very specific profile. And I called it hidden because you can't find it right here in the drop down menu. To get to the profile, you want to click on the browse button. And it's also not under Adobe Raw or Camera Matching, but it's under the artistic menu right here. So let's expand that. And you can see a bunch of very strange looking profiles with very, very unique color tones right here. What we want to choose here is the artistic free profile right here. Click on it and close the profile browser. Right away, you can see this profile gives the green foliage more of that orange yellow color tone. But of course, the default settings are way too strong. We are losing way too much color. Now everything just looks orange. So what we want to do is we want to make use of that amount slider right here and bring it down. So I'm going with something around 70. This should be fine. At this point, we still have some color variety. We have some greens, some yellow tones and a lot of orange. And that's exactly what we want for our base image with which we can now work. So the first step was really simple, but now we need to adjust the overall exposure to make this image look good. I'm going to bring up the overall exposure, making everything brighter, and I'm going to raise it quite a bit here. I'm doing this so we have some nicely visible details in the shadows. Now what this will do is it will kind of blow out the white water in the center of the image. And and this does not look good. To prevent that from happening, I'm going to bring down the highlights to kind of restore details in that white water. So I think something around here looks pretty good. And I'm also going to raise the shadows to further get out details of the darkest areas of the image. So let's raise it to somewhere right around here. And I also want to increase the whites. Okay, this is looking good. Increasing the whites helps to add some contrast, giving the image more punch. And I also want to bring up the blacks. By bringing up the blacks, I try to prevent underexposure. However, when I hold down the Alt key, you can still see a little bit of underexposure in the left bottom corner. However, this area is really not that important. So I'm, so I'm okay with having just a bit of underexposure right here. Okay, now exposure wise, this image looks pretty well lit. However, we are lacking a lot of contrast. I want to change that by adding some overall contrast using the contrast slider like this. I'm also going to add some clarity. And let's add some texture to make the shot look sharper. Okay, I'm quite happy with the exposure for now. What I don't like about the base image is the saturation of all these nice autumn color tones. So we want to change that as well. Simply bring up the vibrance. I'm going to raise it quite a bit since that profile kind of desaturated the colors a bit too much. And I'm also going to bring up the saturation. As you can see, I'm raising both these sliders quite a bit more than I usually do. That's just because of that different profile. And Looking at this shot, it looks so, so much better already with only the basic adjustments applied. Now I do want to adjust the white balance. I do think the whole scene is a little too warm and I'm going to bring down the temperature to try and fix that. What I'm trying to do here is to give that water in the center a very subtle blue tint without overdoing it. So I'm going to drop the temperature until I achieve that. So somewhere around here looks really, really good. And I guess that is the image after the basic adjustments. We can compare it to before real quick. And you can see that's a huge transformation already. Thanks to that little hidden profile and some very basic adjustments made. Especially the shadows do look much, much better. But we also have more details in the waterfall. All right, that's looking great. Of course, we can continue with a bit of masking, targeting certain areas of the image and adding some more contrast this way. 
So let's open up the masking panel and I want to start using a linear gradient. And with that linear gradient, I'm going to target the foreground like this because I think this area is a bit too bright and it's kind of distracting and we want to change that. So I'm going to use this linear gradient and bring down the exposure very gently. Right around here looks good. I'm also going to increase the contrast a bit. All right, and what this does, as we make this area brighter, it will lead the viewer's eyes more towards the important areas of the image without losing too much detail in the foreground. I want to further work on this effect. Therefore, I'm using another linear gradient covering pretty much all of that right side until I hit that white water. In here, what I want to do is to add more contrast. Adding more contrast helps making this area a bit darker and further guiding the viewer's eye through the image. Now, what I don't like about this linear gradient is that it also makes that top part in the back darker. So I'm going to say subtract and choose a linear gradient to get rid of that added contrast from the wall in the, dis in the back right here. All right, and this is looking nice. Then let's also add a radial gradient. I just want to make use of that very bright spot where we can see the sky right here. And I'm going to use it to add some glow. Therefore, all I have to do is to bring up the blacks very gently. I really don't want to introduce too much glow to this image, just a little bit right here. That's about it. And finally, we can also use a radial gradient to give the waterfall in the center more detail. So let's just target the waterfall like this. And to give this area more detail, what I'm going to do is to simply bring up the clarity a bit. That's looking really nice. I think we can also give it more punch by bringing up the whites carefully. Just making the water a little bit brighter. But we really need to be careful to not clip anything in the whites in here. This is looking good so far. I do think we are already done with the masking. So let me deactivate all the masks to see the difference from before. You can actually see the waterfall is kind of dark and it's not really the center of attention at this point. Two after. Here we made the waterfall a little bit brighter and the surrounding areas darker. So the viewer's eye will naturally go to this particular spot. I do think I want to use another radial gradient just for that top part on the waterfall and make this area brighter by bringing up the whites. This should further help guide the viewer's eyes, but that's really it for the masking. Then let's do some color grading. We can enhance those colors some more in the color mixer. And I want to start with the hue. What I want to achieve by using the hue sliders is to add back some color variety because we are at a point where we have an overwhelming amount of yellow and orange tones. So what I want to do first, I want to make use of the green slider and bring it up slightly. And this will reintroduce some of these green tones we had earlier in the process. At the same time, I want to bring down the yellow tones, making yellow parts of this image look more orange. So I'm going to drop them quite a bit. I'm also going to bring down the orange tones to make the orange colors look more red. Okay, and right away, let me deactivate the color mixer to see the difference from before to after. It's a very, very minor change, but it really helps to have a way nicer color palette for this image. Okay, we can also focus on the saturation a bit. Of course, we want to enhance these autumn tones. So I'm going to bring up orange. I want to make the colors really saturated. So I'm going really crazy on these sliders. Let me also bring up yellow. And of course, we also want to bring up the green tones. All right, this is looking awesome. Now, earlier in the basic adjustments with the white balance, I did introduce a very subtle blue color to the waterfall. Now, at this point, I personally think the blue tones in water do add a very nice effect to this image. I want to make this effect stronger by bringing up the blue saturation. This is something that probably not everyone will like. So if, if that's too much color for you, just don't adjust the blue saturation here. But I think it looks great. And finally, we could also play around with the luminance, focusing on these autumn tones to make them just a bit brighter. 
Uh, let me start with the orange luminance bringing it up and just watch what happens to the foreground as I bring up this slider. You can see how this will make the fallen leaves on that rock a lot brighter. I think this adds a very nice effect to this image, so let's continue. I also want to bring up the yellow luminance, making the yellow tones brighter. And let's also raise the green luminance just a little bit. Wonderful. That's the image after the color mix adjustments. Now there's one more thing I want to do in regards of the color grading. And therefore, let's head down into the calibration tab. And as always, what I like to do for my images is to play around with the blue primary hue and saturation. So I want to bring down the blue primary hue. This will make these autumn colors look just a bit nicer. And I'm also going to bring up the saturation here. All right, this is looking really, really good. I really love this effect. Now, the only thing left to do is the sharpening in the details tab. I'm going to drop the radius all the way down and increase the details all the way up. That's something I do for every image. This will never change for my editing. The only thing not locked is the masking and the amount of sharpening. So let's apply some masking while holding down the Alt key. Since there are a lot of things going on in this image, the masking will not have such a great effect. That's also the reason for me to not increase the amount of sharpening too much, but I still want to bring it up a notch. Wonderful. And I guess we are done editing this image. So I hope this little trick with the hidden profile will improve your next autumn images. If you want to add anything or if you have any questions about the editing, let me know in the comments. And thank you very much for watching this video.